Before this video starts, I just want to mention that I did have a small problem between the moment that I installed the RealSense module and the moment that I recorded the test flight. I didn't want to address it in this video since it was a problem that was completely my fault and I'll be linking a new video so you can see what happened and you can understand why I didn't include it in here. Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm really happy because after a few weeks of waiting I finally received uh, my RealSense module for my Typhoon H and let me just focus that for you there it is until RealSense and today what we're gonna be doing is um, we're gonna open this up and install it on my Typhoon H and later we're gonna test it. Uh, I really didn't um, want to buy the whole RealSense module. I was mainly interested in the indoor positioning system, but as some of you may know, Unique didn't uh, release them as separate uh, accessories. They decided just to release the whole RealSense and IPS in a single, uh, in a single module so well let's open this up let's make a small unboxing let me check if it's on frame right there okay so this is the box that i received from i purchased this uh at um carolina drones and well let's open it up and Check out the real sense module. Okay, so <clears throat> have a couple four screws, a small hex key, and a brief uh, installation guide. Step one: remove the gimbal first. Step two: remove remove the LED cover. Step three: connect the white port and all that in English and, and in Chinese <clears throat> anyway this is the the real sense module so let's get a closer look at it uh, uh, wait. okay so there it is real sense module uh, as I told you before, I was just mainly interested in this part, which is the uh, indoor positioning system. It has some uh, the sonar, the small fan, and a very little camera. And well, this is the connection, uh, the real sense cameras, and that's pretty much it. So anyway. Let's go ahead and um, and install this. <clears throat> um, for that, I'm gonna put this back on the package. I'm just gonna set it aside. And well, here's my very trustful Typhoon H. So we're gonna follow the instructions. I'm gonna open the arms so I can turn it around later and remove the gimbal. Let's put it back here. And <clears throat> well, it says that we should remove the LED cover. Let's see if the included hex key is one that I should use if I, I can't seem to be able to open this but there we go so here are the small screws two small screws and two longer ones and you can see if this one is for the LED yes it is so let's proceed to remove this ok 
can. So, oops, there's the screw and the cover, which I believe we won't be using again. And now just let's check the instructions. <clears throat> um, okay, connect the white port on the real sense to the white connector on the aircraft. So let's go ahead and do that. This is the white connector. We're gonna plug it in. Let's check how it's oriented. Um, I'm guessing it should be like this because the, it has a small velcro. Oops, do this carefully, it's kind of tight. And let's see, paste the white port to the velcro uh, tightly. Keep the larger surface of magnetic ring attached to the real sense. I don't know what that, that means, but I believe this is what they want me to do. So this is going to be pretty hard to get on camera. So now this has to be to go under the tab for to release the camera and it's a very tight fit. There we go. And it looks like it's in place. So I believe the last part. I'm just gonna check that I'm not pinching the cables. And I believe the last step would be to install the screws. Place the real sense on the aircraft. Do not touch the infrared lens. It may cause an expected effect on the OBS. Did I touch it? No, I don't think so, but I'll clean it up. Later. and install the four screws two shorter ones on the front and two longer ones on the rear okay so let's take out our screws drop them right there and I'm gonna put the first the longer ones because I don't like the way this is sticking sticking up and drop them in there in place and try and And we're done. 
So turn it back around. There is the real sense module in place. <coughs> you just have to put back the gimbal. Okay. And there we go. This is our Typhoon H with a new real sense module. Um, this Typhoon was one of the first uh, the first ones uh, and a lot of people are asking if it's possible to add the real sense module after. So well, here it is. There's the back with the new LED cover. And let's get a battery and check it out just to see if it's um, if it's everything's okay. Okay, so I have my battery here. Let's put it in place. And let's just turn it on briefly just to see. And I can already hear the fan of the real sense module. So I believe there's going to be a pretty um, um, noticeable uh, battery consumption from this module just because of the fan that it's going very, very fast. But, well, there it is, it's working apparently. And later we're gonna try and test the indoor positioning system. So I hope you liked this brief video and I'll see you later. Hello guys and welcome back to the test of the recently installed uh, RealSounds module. Uh, here I am as usual in the roof of my parents' house. As you can see right here, I don't think you can see it. Well, let me just brightness. As you can see, there's the proximity indicators from the real sense module in case you can't really tell from the camera set this back to its exposure. Anyway, I'm just gonna try and make a brief hover and see if there's any unusual light uh, behavior. So here we go. So, there's the H, kind of moving, I believe because of the ground effect. Let's take it a bit higher to prevent that. And there it is. Looks like it's having a bit of trouble holding position. It's not very windy today, but there's a slight uh, the drift and there it is. Let's see if it's still on frame. Yes. Now let's raise the landing gear. It seems to be doing pretty well. And let's take it for a quick spin. Here you go. 
there it is you try and focus in case you guys can't really see the real sense module now we're gonna try and bring it all the way down with the landing gear up and try and put it in a safer place As you can see, it won't let me bring it all the way down. I don't know if I'm blocking the view. Yes, I'm definitely blocking. And once we lower the landing gear, we can now land. So, there you go, looks like it's working perfectly. Uh, another thing that I want to test is the obstacle avoidance. I'm going to be very careful because it's a very, very small space in here. And I don't want to crash. So, now I'm going to face towards the wall. There's the landing here. small drift but it's holding by itself now and now I'm gonna turn on the obstacle avoidance now, obstacle avoidance is on and won't let me go forward anymore let's try and disable it lower it again and turn it back on. And obstacle avoidance back off. Won't let me go any lower. And I guess. We're gonna end this test. I believe it successfully. Everything went okay. Just so, there you go, guys. I'm pretty happy with the way this is working. I've yet have to test the indoor positioning system but that's a bit of a complicated task since I have to find a place with absolutely no GPS signal and large enough for me to be comfortable. Anyway, I hope you like the video and I'll see you later.